All right, I'm going to try a little bit of red resin here. I'm going to try to put it right in the center here. Just in the center of all of these to try something a little different. I just want to get this part done. Let's see how well that works out. I could probably use a syringe, it would probably help me out a lot. took a toothpick and I made a big mess here I'm trying to let all this stuff dry I brought out my other molds put some red it's kind of like co coagulated blood so it looks like this when I touch it it's not completely dry but it gives a cool effect on everything then I'm gonna put some clear over it I think yeah, I think I'll just put clear resin over it and see what happens. And I mixed it all up in here and here. Looks like blood. Might as well do it for Halloween. I already made some pink stuff for, uh, where did I put it? Uh, yeah, I made these pink molds. This stuff in the fridge to cool off. And these came out awesome. This is good for breast cancer awareness. Uh, yeah, they're hardening up much nicer. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm a guy and I said it's beautiful. Got some clear resin here I'm going to be start putting in. Let this dry a little longer. And then I'll pour these and we'll give them a couple hours and see how these turn out. Okay, so I got my clear epoxy mixed. And we're going to start pouring it in some of these molds here and see what happens. I don't mess it up. I think maybe I'll pour it in these first. Holy cow. All right, these molds are dry, so we're gonna start pulling them out. Stood up with these. Looks like brains. That one's pretty cool looking. And those things came out pretty neat. Woohoo! They look like lifesavers. That one's got a clear on the bottom. That's cool looking. Different. Totally awesome. Yeah, that one's alright. These ones here came out kind of cool. I like that idea. Just a blood red one. Ugh, still sticky. This one here. Alright, those are pretty cool looking. Nothing special. This one's here. All clear with just a little bit of red. 
Ugh, still wet. I'm not sure what happened to that one. That one's weird. All right, not bad, not bad. They actually look better this way than they do the other way. Polka dots. Very interesting. All my little clear chips and stuff I save. The little extras are like the little screw ups or whatever. I put it in a cup. Save it for later. This one here should be interesting. It has little cool patterns in it. Kind of those came out pretty neat. Alright, that's not bad. Not bad, not bad. Maybe I'll put some more color design in it next time. Cool. Experimentals, experimentals. All right, this one here, I put orange, red, and clear on this flower. Let's see how well it turned out. Well, it sort of turned out. Looks kind of cool. I'm missing a flower there, but well, not bad. Not bad for a first timer. Well, not a first timer, but mixing colors. Just experimenting. Maybe I'll do more, a lot more different colors next time. All right. This is just a, doing a little quick thing. Red leaves. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Add more colors to them next time. This one's here, the long one. This would be for like a bread or something. Right on. So that's it on that one. I don't know what happened to this one. It got really, um, it just didn't cure right. It's really soft and stuff. Here was somewhat easy. I didn't show how I did it. I, all I did was take, um, let me get the pattern out. This here, I just put a little bit of the red or resin in here. And then I, when I started the, uh, I put, I took a, a toothpick or a popsicle stick and I started digging it out. And it started making weird designs. And I put the red blood or the red epoxy. It looked like blood to me. <laughs> I put it elsewhere and it, it made these weird designs which actually look really neat. Look like brains. I might have to work out with that with some extra other colors. Hi, Mumbles Mumbles here. Please subscribe to my channel or check me out on Facebook.